Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCM Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas. Well, it Texas. sounds like the perfect script for a horror movie. A virus with no vaccine and no cure kills thousands of people. Five billion people died in 1996 and 1997. Almost the entire population of the world. Only about 1% of us survived. All reports of flu cases along the border, but officials are saying they aren't connected. Surely there's very real and very convincing data that the planet cannot survive the excesses of the human race. And I actually think the world will be much better when there's only 10 or 20% of us left. Dr. Eric Bianca. But most frightening was the fact that in a crowd of over 1,000 prominent scientists, local newspapers reported that 95% of those in attendance gave Bianca sustained standing ovations every time he extolled the virtues of mass culling microbes and man's destruction and went on to laud the virtues of Ebola because it would kill 90% of the world population quickly. The World Health Organization said on Tuesday the Ebola death toll jumped by almost 200 in a single day to at least 2,296 and is likely to be higher than that. The head of the U.S. Centers for Disease Control confirmed Tuesday that West Africa is in a desperate situation, but that there is still hope that the outbreak can be reined in. A top German virologist has caused shockwaves by asserting that it's too late to halt the spread of the Ebola virus. In other news, the CDC is receiving reports of a possible flu outbreak in San Francisco. If the symptoms were first detected in Philadelphia on December 27, 1996, that makes us know that it was released in Philadelphia probably on December 13, 1996. And was seen sequentially after that in... San Francisco, New Orleans, Rio de Janeiro, uh, Rome, Kinshasa, Karachi, Bangkok, then Peking. Rome, Kinshasa, Karachi, Bangkok, Peking. This is some trip you're taking, sir. Is this all in one week? Business. One of the two Americans infected with the Ebola virus has arrived in Atlanta from Africa for treatment. The Massachusetts doctor arrived at the Nebraska Medical Center just before dawn this morning to be treated for Ebola. And right now, his or her blood sample is on its way to the Centers for Disease Control. The new ability to wage war is born from the blood of the victims. There you see. Also invisible to the naked eye. It doesn't even have an odor. Imagine a virus, the most terrifying virus you can, and then imagine that you and you alone have the cure. Without specific drugs or a vaccine for Ebola, the only thing doctors can do for those suffering from this disease is treat their symptoms. Ebola is not airborne. One will not likely catch the virus just by nearing someone who has it. In 1989, Ebola made its way to the U.S. This new strain of Ebola had shown the potential to spread through the air. They are now calling this a true pandemic. Five years on. Still no cure. No cure. The Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation has given 31 million pounds to help battle the Ebola epidemic in Africa. It is hoped it will also speed up the development of drugs and vaccines as Ebola has killed more than half of its 4,300 victims. Uh, first, we've got population. Now, if we do a really great job on new vaccines, health care, we could lower that by perhaps 10 or 15 percent. A preventative vaccine for the Ebola virus could be available as early as next year, as British pharma company GlaxoSmithKline. So you want to balance the need to get a potentially effective vaccine to the people who need it in a way that you can get some meaningful information as to A, whether it does work or not, and whether it does harm. A confidential GlaxoSmithKline document recently linked to the press exposed that within a two-year period, a total of 36 infants died after receiving receiving the six-in-one vaccine of Infrix Hexa. Going right out to get vaccinated. Uh, probably one of these numbers is going to have to get pretty near to zero. Attention, 
Due to the extremity of the simian flu crisis, all regular government functions have been suspended indefinitely. From the water table to our soils to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. The government's Department of Homeland Security is buying up loads of ammo. At the same time, they're restricting civilians' rights to own and purchase firearms. Can you put two and two together? Infidel body armor can stop every round, including hollow points and 308 sniper rounds. Is reasonably priced and fully legal. But for how long? Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com, spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L, BodyArmor.com. Infidel body armor just won't quit. Tell folks how you got introduced to Super Male, and then when Super Female came out, tell us what happened. After I saw such a huge positive change in my husband, I had to try it for myself. Talk about the effects. I feel great when I wake up in the morning. I have drive to go to the gym. I feel like I look better, I feel better, I feel sexier. I love it. Even if you don't believe in supplements, take the challenge, get a bottle of Super Male, a bottle of Super Female, check it out for yourself, consult your physician, visit InfoWarsLife.com today. This is life changing. You've heard about the essential qualities of iodine when it comes to your well-being, and you've read the opinions of top experts regarding this good member of the halogen family. Still, reports indicate that iodine is absent in sufficient amounts from the daily lives of countless people worldwide. Now, our extra strength new nascent iodine formula is here. Survival Shield X2, leading the way into the next generation of super high quality nascent iodine. InfoWars Life Survival Shield X2 is derived from 200 plus million year old salt solutions found more than 7,000 feet below the Earth's surface. The result is a unique nascent iodine that is both concentrated and free of unwanted additives, genetically modified ingredients, and completely vegan. We even pre-screen our Survival Shield X2 iodine for radiation. Pure, clean, and sourced from deep within the Earth, X2 nascent iodine is available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com, InfoWarsStore.com, or call 1-888-253-3139. some more of your calls in this segment then chuck and tim baldwin are joining us a leading constitutionalist here in this country speaking out for liberty and freedom his son's a constitutional lawyer and it's hit the papers um in the state they're in that the prosecutors are telling them don't bring up the constitution and hey that that lawyer's part of the tea party he, you know, he's not allowed around here this is this idea of you can't let your kids play outside the military can't be in the tea party uh two plus two equals five it's all outrageous, over-the-top stuff. But it's really happening. And if we just sit here and let them announce that it's illegal to criticize Obama, like Missouri did, if you don't believe me, I've got the newscast where they said, Obama truth squads, prosecutors and police will be out, and if they catch you speaking bad of the president, you will be arrested. People are like, but you have a right to do that in America. No, you don't. We have a right to spy on you without warrants and leave the border open. And have the TSA put you in a naked body scanner. I mean, it's a power grab. They're doing it. You ever known people in, in your life that are just outrageously arrogant and get away with stuff? Well, imagine a big giant government and corporations that run it. The answer to this is multifaceted, but people like Bill, 
again, I've seen newspaper clippings where he's been fighting fluoridation in the water and getting stuff done and a lot of things. I forget your last name, Bill. You can announce it. But Bill's been a listener like 15 years or more. I remember when he ran for office, got in as a county commissioner uh, up there. They call it that in Texas. I guess they call it a county official or supervisor uh, up in Wisconsin. And he's gotten a lot done. And I was talking earlier about we all need to run against people that are anti-gun. We need to run against people that are pro-tyranny. We need to run against people that are anti-Constitution. And even if we don't win, we educate people during the debates. You get on television, you get on the radio, and you also scare them and let them know there's political opposition forming. That's why they want to audit all the Tea Party people and scare everyone. They think that if they mess with you, that you're just going to go in a ditch. Well, if we don't stand up to them, they're going to take everything already. It's the bullies are already beating us up. Might as well fight back. So going back to Bill, uh, Bill, what's your name? Because I've known you over the years, but I forget it. And tell folks your story and then tell us the latest info. Okay. Uh, my name is Bill Zeitz, Z-E-I-T-Z. -E I ran for uh, town chairman when I was in ill health against smart growth. And my slogan was Zeitz fights for your property rights. And it, you know, it, it took hold. Then I ran for county supervisor and I was elected. In both cases, I defeated individuals that had lived here their entire lives. So it is possible to move into an area and just start going to meetings and, and speaking up. So Exactly. I would elect a, a, a Chinese immigrant from seven years ago that had just become a U.S. citizen if they were pro-liberty and had a history we could trust. And it stood up for private property and guns. I don't care. And people don't care where you're from anymore. They just want you to do something. Go ahead. All right. Anyway, uh, when I was elected to the county, uh, they did not want to put me on any of the powerful committees. So they put me on the Board of Health. And I immediately started to bring out stuff about the pharmaceutical industries, about the uh, vaccines. And they didn't like that. So after one of the elections, they threw me off the Board of Health. So I brought a resolution forward to reinstate me. And it took three months until finally, uh, you know, someone changed their vote. It was 11 to 11 every time. And then finally, one of the supervisors changed the vote. So I'm back on there. Now, we, we had a good doctor that was on there. I had a Ron Paul buddy that just passed away. And, uh, you know, I was bringing out a lot of information on the agenda. And the uh, doctor was fired. He was working with uh, Marshfield Clinic. I don't know exactly. Maybe it was a cost-cutting measure, but I kind of suspect No, they do come after you because when you do the right thing, you're cutting in on their whole criminal op. They can make tens of millions a year in one county just off the vaccines they're shooting in the kids. So you're not being their good little operatives. You're basically just telling folks about the fights that happen behind the scenes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and, and believe me, it goes on. So anyway, uh, the new doctor is a uh, pharmaceutical creature. He supports the CDC. Uh, we just, you know, go to the mat almost every meeting. So they didn't want me putting things on the agenda. Fine. So what I do now is under public comment, I bring out articles and information there. So they also said, well, write something for the local paper. So I did. And if people want to take a look at it, uh, the local paper, you can read it online, is Merrill, M-E-R-R-I-L-L, -L, Photo News, F-O-T-O, dot com, Merrill, Photo News, dot yeah, yeah, com. Yeah, listen, the best way to plug an article is to give us the headline. That's how people okay. will find it. It's called The Void, the Gardasil Vaccine by Bill Zeitz, County Supervisor. We're going to post it to InfoWars.com and syndicate it galactic. And we've got your county commissioner profile up on the screen. And again, if I remember correctly, I saw other articles years ago when you first did this 
I don't know, five, six years ago. Didn't you guys stop Agenda 21 because of what you did? Well, uh, we did.